All right, so since that I had to stop my uh, uh, 2080 Ti session as I had some uh, issues at the memory, some condensation issues. So uh, now I'll quickly try this uh, Core i7 920, which I was able to get. So this should be pretty much rank one capable CPU. Uh, currently I hold uh, all the records with the 920 CPU except uh, SuperPi 32M and W Prime 1024M. I held the uh, SuperPi 32M for quite a while, but then the uh, Danish guy got it back. So let's take it back now. So uh, the setup is uh, i7 920, Rampage 3 Black Edition, three sticks of Corsair Dominator Elpida Hyper, so GDX2 plus 2000 cas 7, NVIDIA 6500 GT to display the monitor signal, Superflower 2000 watt lead X8 pack power supply. Then the uh, quite uh, powerful Delta fan is on the North Bridge and the uh, uh, VRM part of the motherboard, just because. Uh, with this particular CPU, it really, really gets hot. I think this is some kind of a very high leakage CPU, but the overall power consumption with this particular chip is really, really high. So, uh, 920 is quite simple, so you are kind of limited with around 1.55 to 1.6 V core and uh, around 5.5 and 6 uh, gigahertz speed, so between 5.5 and, and 6 with the best chips out there and uh, around minus 120 for the uh, temperature temperatures when it comes to auto parking so uh, windows xp for everything i also have a ser server 2003 as backup for super Pi, but the xp should be enough for everything so let, without further ado let's get going So now we are in the bar, so I'll quickly go through all the settings that I'm using. So uh, we have to use the uh, third party, the uh, third party SATA ports with 920 to get the best possible PCIe for uh, uh, the best possible uh, b uh, base clock. So uh, I'll just start with 2020. 70 multiplier. We can change the multiplier to 21 with CPU tweaker in the OS. Uh, Memory is 6, 7, 5, 18, I'll up that to 20. Common ray 1, etc. Yeah. VRM set to the max, but we have to be careful. 1.55 V core, 1.6 PLL, VTT over 1.5, and uh, quite high memory voltage. And then it's just up the uh, PWM frequencies for QPI, Northbridge, and uh, memory. So now I'll just see how I can post to OS. Okay, so I made the mistake, so you cannot change. There's kind of, the way to post the best possible base box is quite tricky, so you cannot. So you have to do the initial post with uh, quite a low uh, base clock, and uh, you cannot change, for example, uh, uh, Northbridge frequency in between. So uh, you have to stick to that if you, uh, So you have to set the Northbridge to the multiplier you wish to run at the end frequency. So I'll try again. So now I'm at around minus 110, 260 base clock, 17 multiplier. Let's see if I can post this or boot this to OS. Graphics driver blinking is always a good sign about booting. So yeah. Let me just put it at 260. Okay, so uh, at 115, 5.5, quite easy. So let's test bypass quickly. Too cold made it unstable, so uh, it's quite normal with 920. So colder than 120 didn't seem uh, stable at all. Fifteen point six one. I'm not sure how good that is. Let's test. 
So yeah, around 5.5, very easy W prime at 5.5 almost. So we will use ZFSP with our Ultra, same uh, clock generator, generator as normal uh, Rex or Rampage Extreme. Moves the uh, clock quite easily. So uh, let's test 5.520 now. So 50 more megahertz. From minus 109 to 115, then we will run. Okay. Four four twenty one. Not the best efficiency, but it's going up. So that is the uh, W prime thirty two uh, record. Four point two nine six. Very very easy with award fabric W prime tweaker. One hundred and fifteen. 115 on the CPU container and 5571. Just take this. Let's try 1024. So it crashed. So uh, that was just the base clock limit. So what I don't like about what I don't like about uh, X58 and 920 especially is that you have to push for example the VDT extremely high uh, to dangerous values to max out the to max out the base clock so we will get the multiplier from 17 to 21 by selecting turbo on CPU tweaker and select for example 18 apply boom let's get 5470 then we will uh, just use set FSB to move uh, Six four five 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 six. Hmm. So this is a limit. I'm not sure if it's the CPU or board. Okay. So I found the issue. So the limit was uh, memory control limit. So I just moved one notch down. Now we can run. Oh, this is the issue. So. Uh, this is not true, so the uh, multiplier is truly running 21. Oh, the ZBUZ is just showing it incorrectly. This is an issue with some uh, XPs. I'll uh, just put a higher base clock from the, uh, from the BIOS. So, uh, that's just 268. 268 straight away, 130 PCIe, it's 2150 on the memories, 5.1 Encore. Yep. B8 is the one we want, so B8, then it will go B9, D D5 and OC. OC. Yeah, let's see now. And that is the W Prime 1024M record with the 920 at 5635, 5.1 Encore, simple 1600 mems, Rampage Free Black Edition. So uh, like three to four seconds faster than previous top scores. So that is quite large margin, if you ask me. I ran the test at around once 122, but this is quite a, quite on the edge already. So. Uh, I tried, uh, I tried, and now it crashed, but I managed to take a screenshot, but yeah, so it's on the edge. Very good. Running uh, Super 5 32M around 123. Loop 20 soon. This is uh, 5670, 51 something on the Anko. MEMS 21, MEMS 2160, 686. So I'll, uh, I had some memory or some issues. I'll try to push the memory again after this. So 
The VTTs, VTTs are around 1.64 lemon voltage, 2.02 I think. V core 1.56. So uh, I think it's more about the encore rather than memory, but uh, I'll see after this. So let's just pass and get the record. I can tell you it's annoying when this happens, so <laughs> not exactly round on the last move, but the far. Oh, oh boy, I'll just rerun. So that is the Super 532M record for the 920 at 5676, 5136 on Encore, 2162, 2172. 6 minutes 21.7 seconds so that is uh, that is like 12 seconds faster than the previous one well, now I'll push more <laughs> well, this CPU is definitely weird, so I'm, I'm in the OS at 5950 Encore. Yeah, I'll see if this is anywhere near stable. On the encore, 5738 on the core, 2185, 2172, one. The funny thing is that I have a better memory performance with 686 timings rather than 676 or 675. 675 doesn't work for me, it's bugged. The performance is uh, totally crap, like it's like not even near what it should be. But this encore is amazing. Uh -huh. Let's try 575, double it Need to get to 125. 118, 119, 120. 125. Boom! 4141. Remove the alloy fabric thingy. Yeah, five seven fifty four, five seven fifty four encore, four point one four one seconds. <laughs> 
crazy. It's like 200 milliseconds faster, over 200 milliseconds faster than the previous top score by me. So yeah, let's try. Uh, This won't pass, I'm absolutely sure. Need to get temperature again. 125 to 130 is the best for many tests. 120 now. Almost, almost, almost. So second time it might pass all right so that's the end of my uh, 920 smash record smash record session so uh, <laughs> I got pretty much all of them although I was the uh, I was the top score holder in most of the benchmarks before this session anyways but so uh, yeah So I got everything, so I got 585 validation, uh, W prime 1024M record, W prime 32M record at 575, uh, Super 532M record by huge margin, almost 20 seconds, like 17 seconds. So the top score was uh, the top score was 6 minutes 16 something seconds and uh, the previous one was 6.33. Pi fast also huge marching at 14.75 or 14.50 something. 14.50 was at least the highest that I passed somehow. So that's the end. Now I'll waste my last bits of Ellen on something else, but this is an amazing CPU. It it is faster than many uh, 930s and 950 i7s, so uh, absolutely insane result. So now I got all the top, all the important scores in nine, with 920, three out of five with 980x. Uh, 950 is still something I want to try, and maybe 975, but 920 and 980x are the most important CPUs as they were, as they were the most popular x58 CPUs back then. So. Uh, that's the end of my session, nice and frosty. The VRM heatsink isn't bad at all, so uh, it's very wise to put a strong fan like this. So this is the Delta fan I used on my uh, uh, Port, Port Royal 2080 Ti VRM. So uh, now it just now it cooled the uh, Northbridge part and the VRM part well. The memory gets quite hot, so these are really warm sticks, at least the uh, the uh, one on the right. Sadly, it seems that my best uh, Elkida Hyper stick is now dead, so G GDX2. GDX2 stick, so this, this gives weird blue screens no matter what settings it has, even at stock, so it seems it's damaged. I might try something with this, but so far it's, it appears to be dead, which is very uh, sad and confusing. But oh well, I still got three good sticks, so I was pushing them 28, 2180 and close to 2200 with CAS 6. So uh, it's definitely great. The best hypers are Corsair Dominator and A Data the, uh, with the tall hint sticks. But yeah, so that's it. So uh, feel free to comment if you have anything in your mind. And But other than that, thanks for watching and see you.